Yo, 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 guys, what up? It's Mac from So Much Podcast. Um, checking in here to talk to you guys about our favorite thing that doesn't really belong on the podcast, but that we're always going to talk about. Um, I wish we had a better name for it right now, and I'm sure we'll come up with one. Maybe we'll do a poll and ask you guys, but um, it's the Fit Check, right? So every week we're going to talk about some of our sponsors and you guys are always asking me on my Instagram where I buy my brands, what brands I support, where I buy my shit from, where I buy my gear from. And everybody's always curious as to what DNA is carrying. Um, so we're going to do this little segment each week to wrap with you guys about um, what I'm rocking, what's up on the horizon, what brands to look out for. Um, what products we're really fucking with and of course uh, most importantly uh, our sponsors um, this week before I get into what I was rocking on the episode uh, I want to talk about a sponsorship relationship that's been really really cool for me because it came via me buying the product after I discovered it on my own and that is these NX brand bandanas so you can't wear a bandana on a plane as a mask right it doesn't work well, you can with these because these NX brand, not only do they have a bendable nose bridge, but they have nanofiber filter in here and you can feel it. Um, they're super cheap. If you buy more than if you buy more than one, the price gets uh, the price gets lower and lower. I shouldn't say cheap because they're not cheaply made at all. They're really dope. Danny and Brandon both have multiple ones. We've been giving them to our families as gifts, too. Uh, and this is a product that I started wearing before they sponsored us. So it's not, oh, okay, this works, this works, let me, uh, you know, or okay, they're going to give us some money, so let's put them on here. Um, all I've done is plugged us with some free product because I started supporting them uh, because I really fucked with what they were doing. Um, and now it's basically the only mask that I wear. They have all the different bandana colors. They have other like floral prints, more formal prints. It can function as a handkerchief in your suit. Um, I have one that's blue, royal or navy blue with little roses on it. That's like way more high end. Now they're working into camo and other designs. Uh, and it's NX, I-N-E-X brand. Um, NX gear is their IG. I tag them all the time and we love them. They're super breathable. You can throw them in the wash and it doesn't mess up the, it doesn't mess up this little bendy thing that goes over your nose. Um, and they're cool accents to fits. And now I'm like rocking them all the time. Uh, next, I want to talk about a brand that's really important to me because it is started by a close friend of mine, Noel Bronson out of New York. Shout out Noel. Always looking out for me, a guy that has educated me on so much in the last two, three years since I've met him. I've been out to New York to visit him. Uh, he's a wealth of information. He's a traditionalist. I mean, he's like a f fucking Rolodex and librarian of all things streetwear, music, art and culture. Um, and he's a guy that I really look up to in his brand. Uh, this has become this has become my favorite hoodie is Puer Puer NY. Now, this hoodie stands out to me for a lot of reasons. It's got a lot of length to it. It's not too heavy, but I could rock a long sleeve under it uh, and wouldn't need a coat. It's got really long, really solid drawstrings and the coolest part and DJ Murph was tripping out at how well this is stitched and said even sober he thought he was tripping while he was looking at it but this logo right here is 83,466 stitches alone now that to me is a sign of a designer not a person making clothes that's somebody who cares about the garment and the construction and the materials and is willing to spend the money up front to put out a product that they're proud of um, so I am always rocking with Puer. It's going to be hard not to wear this every episode because I absolutely adore it. Uh, in that same breath, the way that I love Noel, I've completely fallen in love with my man, Lord Fubu. Now, he is a guy that me and Wu met through YG Addy, ASAP, and, and I've been following along for him for a long time. And he's one of the guys who's kind of been one of the pioneers as this new era wave has taken off. Uh, he's been one of the pioneers in customizing. Um, he does drops multiple times a week. They always sell out. And as you can see, each hat is labeled. This is 17 of 18 for this Los Angeles. It's got these butterflies. If you could see the stitching up real close on these flowers, uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, I don't know how he's getting it done. He's even putting his own logos on the back. 
Uh, this is an homage to California, the 88 World Series for the LA Dodgers. And I've got, I don't know, I've probably got six of them now. Uh, he's doing hoodies. The brand is Everything We Do Is Limited. FUBU has been exceptionally loving and warm to me, Wu, and the DNA fam. Um, we're looking forward to doing some big things with him in the future. And uh, I definitely encourage you guys, go check him out on Instagram. It's Lord FUBU, F-U-B-U. -U. Uh, everything else is on his page. Everything we do is limited, is his is the company page, but you can get all the information fucking with him on there. He really rocks hard for St. Louis and he's got a lot of STL versions of these too. Uh, last thing before I talk to you guys about what's up in DNA is a lot of people ask me whenever me and Brandon shot my Union Ford Noirs, uh, what I did to him. Um, so I'm obsessed with this drop. I really regretted not grabbing the Jordan 1 set and now it's like way out of my reach financially. So I had to grab the fours. Um, I got the guavas and the noirs and the noirs since they're worth about half as much as the guavas uh, I thought that they would be my test dummies for what I wanted to do so I took the seam ripper and I undid the tongue like a lot of people opted to do and then I copped Union One laces from Mimi down at Hype Restores um, we got a ton of her products behind us Danny uses everything from her she carries Angela's direct paints um, so if you guys want to rock with her, she's Hype Restores. She's down on Hampton in South City. Uh, everything that she has is available online too. She gave me some guidance on what I wanted to do. As you guys know, on the Union 4, the wing is filled in right here. I just got an X-Acto knife and went at it. Uh, if you get up close, you can tell that a guy who's not as skilled did it, but you can't really from afar. And I do know how to clean it up now. I have a little sander. A little drum sander that I can use to clean it up but that was my biggest hang up with these fours it was not the tongue but I didn't like that this wasn't cut out like on regular fours, so I did it myself uh, so the addition of the Union One laces taking the seam out of the tongue and cutting open the wings and you have my favorite Jordan 4 of 2020 right here <clears throat> there's two things I want to talk to you guys about at DNA one is a no-brainer we keep you need to come shop just to get the bag because the purple bag is fucking lit. But for the first time in quite a while, and I'll attribute it to COVID, we are still sitting on some pairs of the CDG Chucks in all four colorways. Black low, black high, white low, white high, khaki, and olive. Um, we got them all down there. They're all 150 a pop, men's and women's sizes from three all the way up to size 12. Um, so come down and holler at us. Uh, check us out. These are in ample uh we have an ample amount of these is what i'm trying to say uh currently now, lastly the jeans that i'm rocking right now are from a brand that we are super super proud to have brought in these are purple jeans uh and purple as a brand is i mean for their price point by far my favorite denim brand right now they have a ton of stretch to them. They're almost all button crotch. They're hyper sturdy. Some of the things that people had issues with whenever we were doing Subi jeans is that not a lot of the pairs have stretch to them. And, you know, if you want to thrash them, they can rip like in the crotch and other areas sometimes. I'm still a huge fan of Subi. Subi's really great about that stuff that you can send those pairs back. But purple brand right now, um, we have six or seven different styles in all the way from 30 all the way up to 40. Um, I'm currently wearing the an indigo wash and I'm absolutely obsessed. Uh, I'm Price point is anywhere from 220 to about 275. Uh, there are pairs that are upwards of $300. There are pairs that are low as 180. Um, but this is a pair of jeans that the way that they're cut and the way that they fit are going to be a jean that you'll wear for the rest of your life. Um, they're not stuck in one they're not in, stuck in one era. They're wearable for the rest of your life. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Uh, and we just got them in and we're really proud of that brand. Um, so thank you guys for rocking with us. Please check out episode three. I give my version of my AA talk so everybody can get to know of everything that I'm doing. Me, Danny and Brandon have been having a blast with this. Uh, we keep adding more cameras. We keep adding more lights. We keep putting anything that we're generating back into this. And we're loving the way that it's going. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know how to reach me. Hit me up on the YouTube comments. Please like and subscribe uh, as much as you can. Share. 
And we will look forward to getting episode four out for you guys. Um, but right now, stay tuned for episode three. Big love. <laughs> <laughs>